I know there's, that's an absolute on that. <laughs> I, know, I know you said Thursday is the night that I guess coaches discuss personnel for the game. Actually, it's Friday morning. Friday morning, okay. Yeah. What, what kind of goes into that? Is you, uh, you know, it's probably different. They're talking through it right now, uh, each position, uh, playing time by quarter, uh, who's going to play with who, who's going to get to play with the ones. It, it just There's a lot of conversation. When we sit down on Friday morning, we'll go by quarter, by player, and I'll say yes, no, or I want this, or why are we doing that? All that takes place on Friday. But we're working up to that point, but we're not at it yet. Are you going to point DeMarco's up where you just play it safe this week? Yeah, I'd say he's not going to play. Yeah. you speak to your relationship over the last several years with Amy and the ownership group, all the improvements that she's made, bringing in John, finding the GM to work, you know, hand in hand? Oh, I, I've, I think I've said it a, a ton of times. I mean, so appreciative of what she's done for this team. I mean, um, the amount of change that's taken place, she's been a large part of that. I mean, she, there's no way we could have what we have uh, right now. And again, we're talking about not in a very short time, this, a lot of things have changed, um, especially this facility. It's, it's uh, remarkable uh, where it's at from where, where it came from. A lot of talk about a lot of different wide receivers that you brought in, but when you watch practice, it looks like 18 just keeps on. Yeah, he's very, very consistent, very steady. Uh, again, Marcus has a trust level. Obviously, the last year helped with the, uh, you know, building that relationship. But uh, he, he's had a good camp. He really has had a good camp. He is uh, he's better than he had last year at this time. What type of presence is he in the locker room? He seems like quiet. He's quiet. Yeah, he just he goes about his own business. Uh, but he com comes out here and competes every time. He's, he's uh, you know, he, he is quiet. Is there a percentage of snap number you want to get from your outside linebackers this number this year? I mean, we've seen Rack and Morgan play 90%. What do you, you want to get that down to? I think, again, uh, We'll see how that unfolds. The number of snaps in games, uh, we have we're, we have a little bit more depth there, you know, with um, with Walden and Dodd and Wallace coming around, and um, there's just more. We have more guys now than we had last year, and, and uh, so I don't know. No, we haven't talked about the exact number of snaps, but um, I, I can say this: our outside rushers are on a mission. Um, they are they are playing and. I mean, they were coming hard every play. So it's been impressive to watch. It has to be encouraging with Dodd to have zero setbacks to get this thing Yeah, it, it has been. It's really been good for him. It's let him have some confidence that he can let loose and, uh, you know, have no restrictions. I don't even bring it up. I, I, I don't. I don't even bring it up with him anymore. I, in, in the size and I encourage you not to, too. <laughs> <laughs> the size of the four of those guys, does that give you options at the line of scrimmage, not just it gives you options to do a lot of things. You know, and Coach Sabo is uh, uh, a mad scientist when it comes to creating mismatches and, and uh, uh, trying to get guys to make a mistake, teams to make a mistake. And we have more options now to do that. You mentioned DeMarco earlier. Do, do you feel a guy like that needs much work in the preseason? I, mean, I, I, I think he does. You know, there's a lot of guys that like want to practice. I mean, they, they want to see things. They want to see where holes are going to be. They want to see protections, how guys are going to be. He's one of those guys. He likes practicing. This is very frustrating to him that he's not practicing. Does a player of DeMarco's character, uh, veteran you know, standing, does that buy him some more time in a situation like this during training camp when players aren't looking at him? Is it, he's like, uh, I don't know if it buys him more time. I just think uh, we're trying to be very smart in how we treat these guys that are injured and, and knowing uh, there, there are some um, dangers of pu pushing again depending on the injury of uh, pushing them too quick and again it's early in camp it's, it's August 8th and uh, that has a lot to do with where are we in camp but if he could go right down again I'm, he may be maybe tomorrow he's a definitely a day to day guy uh, he would go if he could go after Avery and Woodyard, has anybody emerged in the middle and linebacker in your mind? Well, uh, I think Jayon has, has kind of climbed up the ladder. Um, he certainly has been very impressive. Uh, every opportunity he's gotten to to show what he's capable of doing, he's done it. So he, he's been impressed. Avery, Avery's come back. Uh, Avery's stronger. Uh, Avery's faster. Um, he just he looks like a different player in regards to the way he's reacting in the in the run game. Um, it, it's, uh, he's had a very good camp. It's a contract year for Avery. He's responded well to it. Avery's not that worried about 
it's a contract year. Avery has wanted to get better every time he steps on the field. So uh, I, I, don't, I don't think he's, that, that plays into it at all. You had some plays last year where he factored into your, your problems with the tight end. To, to, to you, were those aberrations and just minus plays that happen to come at bad times? Or does he need to do a lot of work on tight end coverage, and is is he part of the problem you're trying to fix? No, uh, I think he's gotten I think he's gotten better. I mean, obviously, you come out that's what you, we're out here for to try to improve on what we're doing, and that was one of the things he knew he needed to improve on was his coverage. Uh, like I said, he is faster than he's been since he's been here. He, he has worked his tail off to do that, and I think he's done a better job covering in this camp than he has in the past. You still need a second guy to help, right? If he's an every down linebacker, yeah, you yeah. still got a nickel backer. Yeah, I mean, I think Jayon, again, has the ability with his athletic ability, his speed, uh, very smart. Again, you got a lot, a lot of going on when you have that personnel grouping. you got to know a lot of things, and Jayon has done well for a rookie. Would you call him the lead guy at nickel backer at this point? Uh, no, I wouldn't. Who um, I think they're all running pretty close together. We're um, Again, I think they're pretty consistent in what they're doing. But, uh, uh, you know, again, another guy, a veteran, Wesley Woodyard's had a pretty darn good camp as well in there. Um, you know, we're pretty fortunate. We got some, we got some guys in there that can play. Uh, Sears, as far as a nickelbacker, he could play it, but uh, I'd probably say he's down the line. Guys like Palmer, Bates, and uh, Staples, those guys that... Need to show show more on special. They graded more on special teams, or, or what they can do as backup inside linebackers. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I'd say that. Uh, you know, the, the the plus for Palmer and Staples is they they can go outside as well. They're very versatile. Um, but uh, special teams will have a large part in in uh, making some decisions at that position because of the depth we have at that position. Typically, besides remaining healthy, what is it that you try to accomplish in a first preseason? Oh, you just want to see how they're going to compete. You want to see who can handle the pressure, especially the young guys. They're going to play um, a, a good bit in this first game. Um, you just want to see who can uh, play at this level and, and not make a lot of mistakes. We talked about it in the team meeting this afternoon about self-inflicting wounds. Uh, the less I have to get up in front of them and say we can't do that, the, the more games we'll win. And we, we just we don't want to have uh, we just don't want to have some of the things that happened to us last year that we we were in total control over happen. And cause us to lose some games, and it starts starts this week on Saturday. Is there a certain amount of that that's inevitable because of the nature of the game, or is there none of it that's acceptable? Uh, well, <laughs> I've lost a game. I mean, I've I've, I've seen again, un unfortunately, experience where plays uh, lost seasons, not lost games. Um, one or two plays change seasons, not change the outcome of a game. So really, I, I don't think it's acceptable when it's totally under your control of what you do. Do you jump off sides? Do you make a mental mistake? Do you drop a pass? Uh, do you miss a tackle? Are you not in the right gap? I, that has nothing to do with anybody else but us. You know, there, there's, no, there's no hidden agenda there. I mean, there's nothing that the opponent did that made you do something that got you beat on that play. How much are you looking forward to being back on the sideline games getting going again? I, I'm excited about it. I, I think... Uh, I think they all are. I mean, everybody's. It's about time. This is this is the tough week going through the, you know, for, for camp. This is the tough toughest week of all of them. I think. You've been very complimentary about this team just coming to work every day, but mentioning this week kind of the dog days here. Do you notice any slip? And is this team unique, maybe, in the fact that they've been so consistent? Uh, it, it is unique, and I think a lot of that has to do with our locker room. Uh, we have a very good lock, and that's that's the players in there, and then we have some guys in there that are obviously some leaders that. Uh, are demanding and uh, very fortunate to be a part of a locker room like that. It's rare. I mean, it's a unique locker room. They want to come out and work. What have you seen from this secondary that makes you believe that they'll be better than they had uh, We're a little tighter coverage. Tighter coverage. Uh, communication's been outstanding, Getting, being on the right guys. Not a lot of, not a lot of open guys running around. Um, but the communication has been good for a bunch of new guys playing together. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Thank you. All right.